Hey everyone, and welcome back. So today, I am finally going to do an official video on how to download any scenery, plugin, or add-on. I actually did make a video on this like a long time ago, but it was my first video, so I decided to make a more updated one. I have been getting so many questions on how to download different plugins and like add-ons, so here's your answer. So, you have most likely heard about xplane.org or maybe xplane or flyaway simulations. These are just websites where you can go download or purchase add-ons for xplane 11. Now, in this video, I am going to use xplane.org because it is the most commonly used and it does have the largest variety of different add-ons and sceneries. So, to begin with, you are going to have to make an account to download any of these add-ons. All you need to do is to fill out some simple information and do not worry, you don't have to spend a dime to do so. So, after you have created an account, you can go ahead and browse for any add-ons you find appealing. And if you are having any issues finding something you like, I do have several different videos that showcase amazing different add-ons that you can go download. So once you have an add-on that you think you like and want to get, simply scroll all the way down until you find the requirements that the add-on needs. This should either be located within xplane.org or within the actual download folder. There should be a readme or some kind of manual. So this should show you what add-ons or extra libraries or specifications the add-on actually needs. You can check if you have all the libraries and add-ons that are required by simply going to your custom scenery folder and checking to make sure you have them. If not, just go to the master libraries link which I will have in the description and it will show all the main libraries for Xplane 11. So for the scenery that I have, it says I need open scenery X. Now in my custom scenery folder, I see that I already have the required library, so I do not need to go and download it. So once you have every extra library or add-on installed onto your computer and in the custom scenery folder, we can now actually go and download the add-on. So, once the add-on is done installing, go back to where you downloaded the add-on and find installation instructions there. Or find any type of readme or manual within the file and find the installation instructions. So, for the add-on I am downloading, it says to extract the file to the custom scenery folder. So, now I am going to go back to the file and select extract. Then I am going to press browse. Next, I am going to select the Xplane 11 folder and then custom scenery. Finally, I am going to click open and this will put my file into the custom scenery folder and will put yours into whatever file you selected. Okay, so now that the add-on is in our custom scenery, we need to put it in the correct place in the scenery.ini file. So basically any airport scenery needs to be at the top of your scenery.ini file. Any objects or library needs to be in the middle. And any types of mesh or, or those go at the bottom. So obviously I have just downloaded a airport scenery so I need to cut the airport scenery and scroll all the way to the top until I find the Aerosoft sceneries that come with X-Plane. And then simply paste the airport right above those. Okay, so that is basically a full tutorial on how to download any sceneries for X-Plane 11, just really in general. If you have any questions, please do ask, I will respond as always. But that's it for me, so see you later.